Today I want to talk about how to read a program slate. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro and take a look at it. All right, so here we are in Final Cut Pro and I pretty much have everything set up and we just today we're just focusing strictly on how to read a program slate. And this is an example that I just uh, made up, um, which I normally see with my normal work every day. Um, but this is just an example that I made up. All right, so uh, the first line right here is just pretty much telling you the name of the program and what you're going to see. So this is kind of, this is the title of the program. Okay. This next line right here where it says episode 101, that's just telling you that it's the first episode of season 1. Okay? This line right here where it says CTC textless. Um CTC stands for cut the clock. And Textless is just telling you this program that you're going to see, you're, you're not going to see any text within this program. It's going to be textless. And CTC has to do with what you see down here where it says Act 1 all the way through Act 6. So basically, this is telling you um, that Act 1 is going to start at 010000. And it's going to end at 01-13-07. Once Act 1 ends, it'll go to a commercial. And Act 2 will come, as you see, at 01-13-09. And this is what this section right here is telling you. And that is tied into Cut the Clock, which is CTC. Now, you may see something that says seamless, which is different from CTC. So seamless is just telling you that throughout the program, it's just going to go through all the way without any breaks. So that's the difference between cut the clock and seamless. Uh, but in this particular example, you're seeing cut the clock and that's when you'll see the acts act one through six. So that's just what it is. Okay. Um, Next is the traffic code. So the traffic code is just some uh, a code that is just uh, it better explains uh, what program it is. OK. Now let's go down to this line right here, which is uh, program is on time. So uh, TPT, which stands for uh, total program time. So the total program time is going to be 44 minutes, as you see right here. So uh, and it's saying that the program is on time and typically for an hour program, it will end at 44 minutes. And then you have TRT, which stands for total runtime. So the total runtime for the program is 44 minutes and 10 seconds. So this is what all of this is uh, talking about. All right. Now on this side, this side is talking to you about the audio channels. Okay. And typically on a text, a, a textless uh, program, you're going to have about 16 channels of audio. If this said texted, you will only see eight channels of audio. So let's go over everything that you're seeing here. So it's saying channel one and it's saying M D E 5.1 mix L. What does that mean? Okay. Don't have to talk about what channel one means, but M D E that stands for music dialogue and effects. And when we get into the 5.1, that's talking about surround sound. Okay. So when we look at what we see here for the audio, you see channel one, which is the information that I just explained. And it's saying mix L, which stands for mix on the left side. Channel two is saying mix on the right side. Channel three is saying mix in the center. Channel four right here. This is saying mix 
LFE. LFE stands for low frequency effect. Okay, low frequency effect. Okay, um, and then we have channel five is saying mix LS, which stands for left side. I'll explain that a little bit more later. And channel six is saying mix right side. So, and once again, this is all talking about surround sound. So I wanna pull this chart up real quick to kinda explain a little bit about surround sound. So, one second. All right, so let's look at surround sound and, and uh, how everything appears on a chart of surround sound, which is, we're looking at 5.1 surround sound so you see right here it says front left that is here channel one mix L so channel one will be front left speaker channel two will be mix R which is front right speaker okay channel three which is C stands for center so that'll be the center speaker Okay, the L, well, let's say channel four, LFE, that stands for low frequency effect. And that will be, that will be your subwoofer. So all your low frequency uh, effects will come out of your subwoofer right here. Okay, so let's keep going down. Okay, channel five is saying LS, which is your left speaker. Surround sound, your left speaker will be coming from this side right here. It's kind of like the rear, okay? Okay, so channel six, we have um, mix RS. This is your right speaker, which will be coming from the rear right side. All right, so I just wanted to bring that up real quick just to give you an idea of how surround sound works and how to read it on this slate right here. So then you have uh, channel seven and channel eight. So this is saying uh, MDE, which is music dialogue and effects. And this uh, channel, channel uh, seven and channel eight will be stereo mix. So you'll get a stereo mix of all of this and all of uh one through one through six so you'll get a stereo mix on channel seven on the left side and stereo mix on the right side on channel eight as we move down you'll see channel nine through let me see channel nine through first 14 um you're getting a full mix from on the left side full mix on the right side full well i shouldn't say i shouldn't use the word mix because you don't see mix here so we'll say channel nine you'll have full uh on the left side you'll have channel 10 full on the right channel 11 you'll have full mix on the uh center 12 full on uh lf lfe which is low frequency effect which will be the subwoofer um, and channel 13, that'll be a uh, full left side, which will be right here. Channel 14 will be full right side, which is over here. And then channel 15 and 16 will be the full stereo mix uh, from the left side and the right side. So channel 16 will give you the full mix of everything. So that's pretty much how you read the audio that you're seeing here on the program slate. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, that's everything far as this particular slate is concerned, a uh, program slate is concerned. So that's how you go about reading and understanding a program slate. Hope this was informative and take care until next time. Thank you.